This is beat making episode 3, we're starting right now. If you remember last episode we ended with a simple melody. Today we're gonna figure out how to make that melody better. We're not gonna make our own sounds yet, instead we're gonna learn how to use other sounds. You may remember these are called presets. So let's get started. Remember the fold menu? Click on it. And there's a bunch of folders. Now each of these folders contain presets. You can click on presets to listen to them. You can drag them in to use them. They work in the pan editor as well as in the song editor. So once you open the melody we made, let's find a sound that is good enough. Click around on the presets until you find something you like. Now while I'll save you the drag, you probably won't find an exact sound. A sound like the one we hear in the song itself needs to be made by us. But do not fear, for we still have a use for these presets. Go to Zenad Sub Effects and open the Strings folder. You will find a bunch of string sounds. Pick a nice and calm one. If I were you, I would pick this one. Now let's figure out some chords for the melody. The scale is actually C sharp minor, but placing a major scale 3 notes ahead gives a better scale. Okay, let me explain this. Do you know how the white keys form the C major scale? If you play from C to the next C on the white keys, you get a major scale. Now, these white keys also form an A minor scale. If you play from A to the next A on the white keys, you get a minor scale. You can clearly hear the difference in sound. The major sounds more cheerful and the minor sounds edgy. You may also notice A is 3 semitones behind C. A semitone is the difference between two notes next to each other. This includes black keys, so B to C is 1 semitone but C to D is 2 semitones. So if you place a C major, it forms the minor of the note 3 semitones back. In this case, it's A minor. You can use this the other way around too. If you want A minor, we can move 3 semitones up and place a C major scale. This is called natural minor scale. You may notice it's not present in the menu. That's why we have to make a C sharp minor by marking an E major. Fine, now that we've marked our scale, let's mark some chords. Mark a C sharp minor, A major, E major, and B major. Now align this with your melody. Set your melody volume to 50% and hit play. Sounds great, right? No. The melody still sounds awful, so we need to find a sound for it. Remember how I said we need to sound design it? I did that for you. Go to the description and hit on the first link. It's a link to the preset I made for this melody. It's not perfect, but it will do. So hit download and you get a .xpf file. This is a preset file. Move this file to your presets folder. I hope you know what that is. If you don't, it's here. You can put it in the Zenad sub effects folder if you want, but as long as it's in the presets folder, it will work. Now save your project and restart LMMS. Open the project and you can now see the preset where you left it in the folder. Drag it in. Now how do we change which sound the melody plays with? Very simple. Hold Ctrl and then drag the melody from where it is to the new sound. And then right click on the old melody and hit delete. Adjust the volumes if you want and then hit play. Sounds a lot better, right? Lucky for you, there's a whole lot of presets on the LMMS website. Not all sound good, but there's lots of them, so you'll probably find something you like. This page is called the LMMS Sharing Platform, second link in the description. All you have to do is stick presets, search for a preset, or just scroll and find something that seems nice and download it. Unfortunately, you can't preview a preset, but it takes 2 minutes to install one, so it's not a big issue. Stay tuned for the next episode where I give you some of my presets and we use what we learned so far to make a basic loop. What's a loop? Next episode. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Until then, bye. Alright, let's play some minor scale.